In this video I'm going to teach you how to package and send your original paintings, drawings and artworks. Hi and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lizzie Snow and I work under my artist name 4100. This golden painting is heading to the States, so I'm starting off by signing the back. All of my originals are signed front and back. Heading in with the tissue paper, this makes sure that the artwork doesn't get any scratches or marks while it's in transit. I'm sealing it off with a sticker. This is a great way to get some branding in. I'm always thinking of the customer and how their unboxing experience is when they receive their artwork, print or product. I'm making these little cardboard triangles to protect the corners. The corners of your artwork are a really fragile part, so this is a really important step. I've chosen this piece of cardboard and I'm measuring it, finding the center point and cutting it to size. The second half of this video I'm going to show you a smaller artwork that I'm packaging up so definitely watch to the end because that might be really helpful for you in your situation. Fitting on those cardboard corners, you can see that these cardboard corners are economical, they fit really well and they still look pretty clean and tidy. I'm then taping the corners onto the cardboard so the artwork isn't going anywhere sliding in the certificate of authenticity and also a little thank you note along with some business cards and stickers. Sealing up the cardboard making sure it's flat and sturdy I then repeat this step many many times until the cardboard has built up into a box. The aim is that we don't want the artwork to be able to bend at all while it's being shipped. I then wrapped the box in postal paper. I like to choose a thicker paper than the standard so that it doesn't get damaged. With an original artwork you don't want to take any risks, so I always put a fragile sticker on every visible edge. Measuring the artwork and taking its weight for shipping, I like to ship with UPS. I've tried all the different courier companies and personally I prefer UPS. This is not sponsored, that's just who I found has been the most reliable. Although definitely check this out for yourself because I know lots of people have different opinions on this. And there's the parcel ready to go. Here's the smaller artwork that I'm going to send. This is a commissioned piece that's going to the United Kingdom. How shiny is that gold? Starting with the tissue paper again, smaller artworks are always easier to work with. The tissue paper just folds on here perfectly in contrasting with the larger piece where I had to make shift and put things together. This artwork was commissioned for a 10 year wedding anniversary which is really sweet. This artwork is going into the sturdy no bend mailer. This is how I send my smaller artworks and prints, really tidy and relatively economical way to send your artworks, making sure that they don't get damaged or bent in the mail. Here I'm writing a thank you note and including the certificate of authenticity and sliding it into the parcel. Also including some stickers and business cards. It's self-sealing and ready to go. For reinforcement, this artwork I'm using chipboard, so it's super sturdy, and then wrapping it in bubble wrap because the edges are a little bit sharp. Wrapping it up in postal paper, it always feels like Christmas. Again with the fragile stickers, not taking any risks. When I measure my artworks, I usually write the measurements and weight on the middle of the parcel. This is because when I put the label on, it goes on top. I used to use scrap pieces of paper, but I found that when I was doing many parcels at once, they would get a bit overwhelming or lost or confused, so this is the easiest way. I just use pencils, so it's not a big deal and it doesn't go through. Sticking on the label, I definitely need to buy a label maker, I just haven't got around to it yet. Leave a comment below if you have any more questions. I hope this video was helpful. Remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more art and art business content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.